Uh, good morning, thank you for being here today. I'm Michael Brennan, uh, Mayor of the City of Portland, and I'm also pleased to be joined by uh, Ed Susevic, who's a former Mayor of Portland and on the City Council, and just recently was the uh, President of the Greater Portland Council of Governments. And I'm very pleased to be here today because this just represents another effort by the City of Portland to be green, to be sustainable, and to cut our carbon footprint as much as we possibly can. And as many of you know, uh, Portland has had a long time uh, commitment to making sure that we can do everything we can to be a sustainable green community. And one of the important steps that we can make is having infrastructure such as this within the community, which allows uh, for electric cars to be recharged on a regular basis. This is the second um, site that we will have in the city, and that will be provide further convenience and further opportunities for electric cars uh, to recharge and to be part um, of the city's uh, uh, transportation. One of the ways that you stimulate demand is ha making having infrastructure available so the opportunity for people to recharge is greater. And I think that uh, given the fact that people will see this as a convenient way to recharge, that that will stimulate demand uh, for, uh, a for electric vehicles. And obviously if people believe that they buy an electric vehicle and they're gonna face significant problems in recharging, then their desire or uh, the choice of, of, of buying that electric vehicle uh, is diminished. And I'm in particular very pleased to be here with Joel Harrington today from the Iberdola um, uh, and CMP as their foundation made this opportunity available through the Greater Portland Council of Governments. And because of the grant uh, that they did provide, it not only is allowing the city of Portland but surrounding communities to also develop this infrastructure. So again, I'm very pleased of this collaborative effort with uh, Iberdola, with uh, the Council of Governments with the City of Portland, and again, uh, to provide this uh, new piece of infrastructure and this new opportunity for us to service electric vehicles within the city. So before I turn to Joel Harrington uh, from Iberdrola, I just wanted to ask uh, Councilor Sosovic if he wanted to say anything. Sure, just very briefly, uh, I think one of the best ways local government uh, can positively impact the issue of climate change is to set a good example, and that's what we're doing. Uh, but this good example would not have been possible, as the mayor pointed out, without a lot of folks working behind the scenes to pull this off. Ibadrola, CMP, uh, have been consistent supporters of bringing electronic vehicles um, out into the marketplace and especially into the municipal world. Legislation was passed and signed into law this year that will allow um, uh, private uh, entities to charge for the electricity for the recharging because right now you haven't been able to do that. So I think what you'll start to see is that quote conventional fueling stations they'll start to put in charging stations as well and swipe your credit card. So the City of Portland's parking division and MR Parking which uh, work together to, to own and operate this parking garage really uh, have been great partners. Uh, instead of uh, resisting something like this they've embraced it um, and, and made it as easy as possible for customers to come in pull in and, and, and recharge. And, uh, and obviously other city staff and uh, the staff at the Greater Portland Council of Governments uh, to pull all this together. Uh, you can imagine there's a lot of red tape uh, that has to get uh, cut through to, to make this happen. So I just want to say thank you for allowing the City of Portland to set an example on how we can all uh, positively impact the issue of climate change. The City of Portland has purchased at least one and we're uh, planning to purchase more electronic electric vehicles uh, for our city fleet. Um, and so we'll be looking to put in more charging stations open to the public as well as to, to uh, uh, recharge hopefully a growing uh, percentage of our fleet. Because if you think about it, they're ideal for city vehicles that spend most of their time right here in the city. So, On behalf of Iberdrola USA, I have here with me Darlene Forst, who's the uh, head of our Iberdrola Foundation for the Iberdrola USA, which is CMP's parent company. You know, many years ago, Iberdrola started out on this path of looking at our own infrastructure and our own transportation infrastructure. And in Europe, our parent company is leading the way on electrification of Europe's transportation system. We've devoted about $4 million in Iberdrola USA 
uh, to electrify our own fleet. And we started asking that question ourselves, that if we're going to support the communities in which we serve, that we need to look at our own fleet. And so today I can tell you that we've committed to, we've actually uh, deployed 84 of our vehicles uh, between our two utilities in Maine and New York to electrifying our own fleet. In fact, we have one here today and you'll see many uh, across Maine uh, as you travel about. But we're very pleased and very proud to support our efforts uh, to reduce the effects of global climate change uh, that we, our company believes in and to help electrify a transportation fleet here in Maine. I want to thank uh, GP Cog uh, for the partnership that we've had, not just this year, but in the past. And hopefully, uh, I think the, between the foundation and Central Maine Power Company, it will continue to support uh, the, this effort. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you all for being here today. Uh, Central Maine Power, Ibajola Foundation. This is really, I think, a, a really good example of public-private sector partnership, working for the betterment of the community, the region, the environment, going back a little bit in the history of how all this began. A couple of years ago, we were very we were successful in securing a grant from Central Maine Power to purchase a electric vehicle. And over the last two years, we have uh, loaned that vehicle out to most of the municipalities in the Cumberland County region that are members of GP Cog, Cumberland County government, other stakeholders. They've all had an opportunity to experience uh, the electric vehicle technology. A number of them as a result of that experience have purchased or leased vehicles of their own. They're economical. The cost, the net cost is about a savings of uh, one two-thirds of what it would be for a traditionally uh, a traditional gas-powered vehicle. This is really the wave of the future. There's no question about it. We've also, from that CMP experience, we were able to uh, apply for and secure additional funding from Ibajola Foundation to install charging stations, the infrastructure needed to make the electric vehicle technology really work. Uh, we're kind of behind here in the state of Maine, so we're hoping that this will be another stimulus to get more and more people into electric vehicles. They're economical, they're comfortable, they're very fast. I, I will attest to that. They've got a lot of good zip to them. People should not be intimidated by the electric vehicle technology. It is the wave of the future. And I think within 10 years, more than half of the population will be driving EVs.